Hello to all the students. I hope you all are in a good health. So today we are going to talk about this covalent bond and then we will talk about different types of covalent bond like single, double, triple and we will go through the examples of each type. I will teach you in a very simple way. So watch this full video and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Let's get start this video. covalent bond okay always remember the bond is between the two atoms only now what are they doing are they giving all the electrons or are they sharing the electrons so in this type of chemical bond the two atoms are sharing two atoms are what they are sharing the electrons now how they are sharing like are they sharing the equal electrons or are they sharing unequal electrons so the second point is they are sharing the mutual electrons what they are sharing the mutual electrons now what is this mutual electron mutual electron is like they are sharing the equal number of electrons with each other means if the hydrogen is sharing a one electron the other hydrogen will also share its one electron so the sharing of electron is mutual here okay uh, now the definition for the covalent bond is this it is a type of chemical bond in which two atoms shares the equal electrons or the mutual electrons okay let's go through its types one by one so these are the type of covalent bond we will discuss in this topic uh, single covalent bond double covalent bond triple covalent bond the difference in these three type of covalent bond is this that the single covalent bond they the atoms share only one electrons in the double covalent bond the atoms share two electrons in the triple covalent bond the atoms share the three electrons with each other okay so i have told you before that they will share the mutual electrons means one atom will uh, with the other atom will share the equal electrons okay now let's start with the single covalent bond first starting with the type uh, let me uh, give you some basic concept that first shell need the first shell of any atom need two electrons and then third second third fourth fifth and so on shells contain need eight electrons to complete its outermost shell so our target is to complete these shells either two either by eight okay let me remove this okay now hydrogen belongs to the group number one it means it has one electron in its outermost shell outermost shell is the last shell okay if i see an atom belongs to group number one it means the uh, the atom has one electron in in its outermost shell if i see an atom like a for example belongs to the group number two it means the outermost shell has the two electrons if i say an atom is belong to the group number three it means it has three electron in its outermost shell if I say an atom belongs to the group number four it has four electron in its outermost shell okay so hydrogen belongs to hydrogen belongs to the group number one so it has one electron in its outermost shell okay so here we see that hydrogen containing one electron the other hydrogen also containing the one electron when they are bonded with each other they will share one one electron with each other to complete its outermost shell because they need what they are in the first shell and they need two electrons they already had the one they will share the one with the other atom like this hydrogen has one electron other hydrogen has one electron okay now you see from this side hydrogen has how many electrons now two electrons see from this side hydrogen has how many electrons also two electrons it means they are sharing one bond with each other okay they are sharing one electron and sharing the one bond with each other so in this way they complete its 
first outermost shell now going to the double covalent bond oxygen belongs to the group number 6 so means they have 6 electrons in its outermost shell right so you see one oxygen having 1 2 3 4 5 6 electron and other oxygen also have 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 electrons now when they are bonded with each other and forming the o2 molecule you see that they are sharing two electron from this side two electron from that side so they are like oxygen having 1 2 3 4 5 6 electrons other oxygen containing 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 electrons now see from this side and count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay so they almost complete its 8 electron in its outermost shell now see from this side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so they all have 8 electrons they have 8 electrons okay now you you see that they are sharing the two electrons two electrons from this side and two electrons from that side and they are making the two double bonds okay like this oxygen having the double bond between each other okay and in the first one they having single bond so hydrogen sharing the one electron if the if they are sharing two electrons we will put double bond between them if they are sharing one electron we will put one single bond between them now let's move to the triple covalent bond nitrogen belongs to the group number five it means it has five electrons in its outermost shell now let's make nitrogen in this side have one two three four five five electrons um, the other nitrogen also have the same five electrons now when they bonded with each other they are sharing what three electrons three from this side three from that side now let's make it nitrogen having one two three four five five electrons the other nitrogen will also have one two three four five okay now let's see from this side and count one two three four five six seven eight okay they have eight electrons now count from this side one two three four five six seven eight so they have eight electrons so means they are completed with its outermost shell the outermost shell when completed and having eight electrons it is called octet having eight electrons okay now they are sharing the triple bond with each other three electrons so we can make it like this nitrogen and nitrogen sharing the three electrons okay now let me give you a quick hint to identify if they make a single bond double bond and triple bond so let's go towards the trick hey. okay students so this is a trick from my side to you so as you know hydrogen belongs to the group number one so they have one electron in its outermost shell right so they need how many electrons they need one electron to complete its outermost shell with the two electrons right so they need what one electron whenever any atom need one electron it will make a single bond with the other atom what you get from this side that whenever the atom need one electron it will form a single bond and because oxygen is related with the group number six and it has only six electron in its outermost shell and it needed how many electrons to make it yes they need two electrons to make the 
outermost shell complete with the eight electrons so when they need two electrons it means the oxygen will bond with the other atom with its double bond nitrogen belongs to the group number five it means it has five electrons in its outermost shell and it need how many electrons it me it needs only three electrons to complete it out out to move shell with the eight electrons so whenever whenever they need three electrons they will make the three triple bond with the other atom so in this way with the needs you can identify its bonding type okay thank you if you like this video do subscribe this channel and thanks for watching the full video